Hey guys, it's Strawberry Ellie here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to share with you my top 5 favorite healthy really delicious food so let's do this. So my first favorites are greens. So since going vegan I just incorporated a lot more dark leafy greens and greens in general and vegetables into my diet because I realized that they're freaking healthy for you. So this for example is dinosaur kale and that is by far my favorite kale. Curly kale is good as well but this is my favorite. And with greens is the darker they are the more nutritious they are for you. So for example dark leafy greens are so nutritious and so healthy for you. Some of them are kale, swiss chard, collard greens or spinach. They have a lot of vitamin A, K, C, calcium and also magnesium in them. If you can eat them raw just like steam them or saute them and you can eat them in a salad for example or you put them in your smoothies or juice them however you want to eat them it all depends on you and on your taste. Some people don't really like the taste of dark leafy greens because they have a quite strong taste but I love them. I love to put them in my salads and another alternative is to incorporate green powders into your diet. If you don't feel you're like chewing all these greens then I would recommend putting that in your smoothie or your green juice just like barley grass powder wheatgrass powder but keep the focus on the greens not any other weird ingredients in there but I would still say that doesn't replace eating a big veggie meal a day at least one just other greens are fine too like romaine butterhead is one of my favorites as well and also green and red leaf lettuce so any kind of lettuce any kind of green vegetable as well. They're super healthy and super nutritious for you so I can only recommend eating them. My second favorite is blackstrap molasses. Now if you not already know what blackstrap molasses is, it is a byproduct when you actually produce refined sugar but that is the healthy part of the sugar and it is super nutritious for you. I would even say it is a superfood and the recommended serving is one to two tablespoons and if you include that in your daily diet you get lots of iron and calcium, magnesium, copper and also vitamin D so it's really healthy for your skin, for hair, for your bones, for your teeth, for also for your digestion. It is overall nutrient and mineral dense. It is a super healthy food and I can definitely see the benefits since I incorporate that in my daily diet. You can either just eat it straight from the spoon but it has a really intense flavor. I would compare it to licorice and I'm not really the biggest fan of licorice so it took me a while to actually get used to the taste and my boyfriend says it smells like barbecue sauce so, so I don't know what's up with that but if you can't eat it straight, I would suggest putting it on your nice cream for example or fruit, just drizzle it on there. Or what I like to do is I just put it in with some warm water and also some lime or lemon juice and then you drink that as like a morning cocktail I guess and it is really healthy for you and it doesn't taste as strong. It is really refreshing in the morning and it gets your digestion going. So definitely one of my top five health foods I can only recommend including in your diet. If you know me, you know how much I love tahini and also peanut butter, but I found a new favorite in terms of nut butters and that is almond butter. Now, almond butter is super delicious. It has a really good taste and I just love to make sauces or dressings with it. You can also just put it on your ice cream or any kind of fruit. You can also spread it on a rice cake and put some banana on top and some cinnamon. Damn, that is delicious. It is a good alternative for peanut butter. If I mean, peanut butter is super delicious as well. But almonds are the most nutritious nuts out there. So I would recommend trying almond butter maybe instead of peanut butter if you may be allergic to peanuts or you just want to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, if you don't want to eat almond butter obviously because that is a little bit more pricey than peanut butter you can also just eat almonds or eat 
almond yogurt or drink almond milk, eat almond milk based ice cream I guess. It has a lot of vitamin E, copper, magnesium, calcium, iron and also selenium so it is really really good for you. It's just a good way to get your fats in as well, really healthy fats and don't be scared of fats. If it's like a really healthy fat like almonds or any kind of nuts they're just really good for you and don't neglect them from your diet even if you want to lose weight you know it's not an all or nothing thing healthy fats are really good for you and I don't want to miss out on them in my diet anymore because my skin my hair my teeth my nails everything is so much healthier if I include healthy fats in my diet especially almond butter so get on the almond butter train it's delicious. So my third favorite, everyone probably already knows, it's called as a superfood and it is chia seeds. Chia seeds are super healthy for you. They have a lot of omega-3 fatty acids which are essential in your diet and you don't really get them from any other food except for other seeds like hemp seeds and flax seeds. But chia seeds are by far my favorite from these three and that is because I can just put them in my smoothies, I don't really taste them and I put them in my nice cream as well in the morning or you can just sprinkle them on all your meals, on salads, on your veggie meals, on your rice, anything like that. They give a nice crunch then if you do it that way or you can make chia pudding. I actually have a recipe in my ebook if you want to check that out I'm going to link the link down below and also compared to hemp seeds or flax seeds they're going to last you the longest so you can store them not even in the fridge just outside whereas if with flax and hemp I would recommend storing them in the fridge and also your body is able to absorb them in their natural state so you don't have to ground them up like flax seeds for example and the recommending serving is one to two tablespoons so I think it is really easy to get that in even in the morning you can also put that in your drinks you can put that in lemon water and just normal water or your kombucha it is really good for digestion as well it gets your digestion system going it has fiber in it that's why and also iron and calcium so it is super healthy for you that is why it's called a superfood and one tip on the side if you want to find a healthy egg replacement chia seeds are awesome for that also flax seeds you just mix one to two tablespoon with some water and then you let it sit and it becomes this wobbly consistency and you can use it when you're baking but other than that chia seeds are healthy overall and you can use them in so many different ways so i think they're amazing my last and final favorite is water the reason why i include water in this is because Drinking water is just so healthy for you. I don't want to recommend an amount of water, what you need, that depends on your body, how active you are, how much sleep you get, just all these different things depends on how much water you need. I personally drink two and a half liters around that a day, but find the right amount for you. I can tell you that, how much water you need. It is so hydrating, especially first thing in the morning when you wake up, your body is really dehydrated and needs a lot of water to rehydrate. So I would recommend drinking lots of water. Lemon water is also really good, as I said, to get your digestion system going, lemon or lime, just squeeze it in your water. If you can't drink just pure water, cut up some fruit in there, some strawberries or cucumbers in there, anything like that to make like a fruity or refreshing water. Other than that, I also really like coconut water. Now I know that this is boxed coconut water and it is pasteurized and that is not the best option but look out for these brands this is definitely by far my favorite brand and if you buy box coconut water definitely check the ingredients because sometimes they put other things in there like sugar or any kind of stabilization i just love coconut water it has a lot of electrolytes in it which is really good also when you do a lot of exercise and you're sweating a lot you have to replace that and coconut water is just really hydrating and delicious but other than that if it's just if it's too expensive for you don't buy it just drink lemon water or lime water or just drink more water in general because it is so beneficial for your body it gets your digestion going and drinking water is just really healthy for you and that's actually it for this video i hope you like my top five favorite health foods let me know in the comments below what your favorites are i would love to know that and while we're already talking about healthy foods i also have an ebook 
which includes more than 33 healthy, delicious, plant-based recipes. So in case you want to check that out, I'm going to leave you the link down below. The chia pudding is in there if you want to try that out. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day, guys. Stay healthy and yeah, eat some delicious healthy foods and I see you in my next video. Bye, guys.